This tutorial will be using NC Wise Owl in the mathematics classroom. Uh, NC Wise Owl again is a uh, resource that is provided by the North Carolina Department of Public Instruction and it is meant as uh, a research tool that will help us in our classrooms. Uh, in math, however, we're not doing a whole lot of research, um, so a lot of those portions are not going to be as helpful to the math teacher as in some of the other subject areas. But there are some great resources regardless. Uh, most of these focus on uh, the teacher aspect of it, so th there's some great resources for teachers that we can find within NC Wise Owl. So if we start at the middle school zone, since we are middle school teachers, uh, the first thing we want to take a look at is the Student Research Center. Mostly this is going to be used uh, for work on doing research, of course, um, student-based research, but there are also some resources for teachers on here. Um, if you go to the teacher resources section at the top of the page, and click on that, uh, you can type in a topic that you're studying. So maybe you're studying fractions, so if I type in fractions and push the search button, it'll display a bunch of search options for me. Uh, and I'll just look at the first couple here, but one is an article, uh, Body Fractions, A Physical Approach to Fraction Learning. And if I click on that, there's a place right here for PDF full text. If I click that, I'll be able to see the full article. It'll take a moment to load, but it has the full article here, um, and I can read through that, and it'll give me some excellent ideas for uh, teaching the concept of fraction in a more physical kind of way. Um, let's go back to our search results. Uh, but there's another one here that compares virtual and physical manipulatives. There's another here about using some uh, paper folding, fraction walls, and number lines to help students understand fractions. Uh, also developing uh, effective instruction K through 8 using fractions. Uh, so a lot of good resources, and this would be particularly useful uh, in the stages of planning uh, lessons. So let's go back. So this is the Student Research Center. If we go back to uh, the middle school zone, let's look at Britannica next. Again, in, this is the Encyclopedia Britannica page. Uh, we're familiar with that encyclopedia, but it also has some teacher resources on that. If you go to Resources and Tools at the top right hand, corner of the page. And over here where it has educators, there's curriculum standards. And if we go to common course standards, since that's what we're working on, it'll ask you to choose a state. So we'll find North Carolina. Choose a subject, of course, mathematics. Choose a grade. Well, let's use seventh grade for this. And we have to hit go. And it provides all the resources that are available on this website through um, about 7th grade mathematics. And you'll notice that it has an article uh, about a mathematician, but it also has lessons. So in each section there's different lessons that you can go through and click on. If I click here, it'll display the 16 different lessons that are available. And I can go through and see more about those. Okay, let's head back to the middle school zone. Back in the middle school zone, now let's go to Broiler Online. Broiler Online has a resource at the bottom. Again, this is an online encyclopedia, but at the bottom there's a place for educators. So we click on that. It provides a searchable database. You can choose what grade and what subject. Let's start with mathematics. Um, and actually, there's not a whole lot of difference by grade levels, but they have, you click on these links, there are some resources to uh, lesson plans um, for different topics in math. In the next video, what we're going to do is take a look uh, at this button here, the SAS. It's going to have a lot of neat resources, especially for 7th and 8th grade teachers.